except one. I can give you political parties with young members who are members of parliament or senators. Uh, you know, those members of parliament, we, we have uh, you know, young Ram, people who are in Ram, parliament. Let, let me tell you, if you get into a table where people are discussing one million, mm -hmm. don't come with your 10 shillings. How do you want to mention one member of parliament in the name of a young person who will be suffocated in the, uh, in the negotiation table? How many young parliamentarians do you have in, the, in, in parliament? Do if, they if, have, if you count do, them, do, do they have the power? They don't have the power because of the number. There is this number. You must use the power of the number to negotiate or the power of the resources. Do they have the resources? In the parliament, do they, do they have the numbers? I think from the young parliamentarians and the young people in leadership of political parties have the platform and they have the negotiation ability. They have the platform and the negotiation ability. But the problem is okay. they have carved in. They have been able to, be, to, to, to go by the status quo. Most of the young people, especially say in parliament, most of them are just walking the direction that was. They have left their philosophy they have dumped their mind, and now they have gone by how the system has always worked. And therefore, they might be young in age, but they are not necessarily representing their age at the table. When they get to the table, they are representing selfish interests, and they are representing their, uh, their, their opportunities of growth. Because we have actually become a selfish society, where everybody is actually uh, basically thinking about themselves. So what and solutions? Because you, you've mentioned them dumping their ideologies yes. way after the elections. Yes. How can that be solved? That can be solved, Ram, number one, if we are able to open up uh, the space for young people. The reason why it is almost impossible for young people to work with their brain in politics is because they don't have the capacity. The space isn't, isn't there. there. The space isn't there. That's what I'm telling you. Uh, as, as Karl Marx puts it, that a party nomination goes to the highest bidder. Now, political parties have also become smart enough. They have known that uh, it is popular for you to have the youth, it is popular for you to have women, it is popular for you to have people with disabilities. But then what they do is that they craft a way to have these people, but people who are only congruent to what they want, not necessarily those who merit. So we'll have a young person uh -huh. in a political party getting a nomination to a certain position, not because they qualify for it, but because they have been able to be molded to agree with the powers that be. And therefore then they are tagged the title, these are youth representatives in the party. But actually, there is no youth representation there. And that is now the problem. Why, why, and why can they have their position? It's because they don't have capacity. Ram, today if you join a political party and, uh, and, and uh, you, need, uh, you, you, you want to vote for president, mm -hmm. you need to give IEBC one million. You need to give your political party maybe five million. Does a young person have that money? No, they don't. And this is a question that I would like to pose to you who is watching us from home. It, and, and it's why two, five, four. For, the, for you, the youths, what is it that you believe or you think that you can do to bridge this gap as a young person? We are talking about young, Kenya young parliamentarians. It exists. How can we bridge this gap? Give us your take. The hashtag is uh, the stand. We will be sampling the, your thoughts as you continue. Karl Marx. Um, mm -hmm. You know, when you're a puppeteer of the leadership, you will never have authority to speak. You will never have authority to represent anyone. The so-called young parliamentarians were the puppeteers of those, uh, 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 let me use the word crooks. Because by the time they were being uh, uh, led to those positions, there were some other people who were being sacrificed. So they know that they are serving the interest of the people who took them there. So how will you complain or how will you even get to a table to negotiate with the people who gave you uh, the space? So that is why the space is too suppressed to a point they don't understand what to do next. The only thing is just to be there as cheerleaders. Later.